This video provides a demonstration of CloudLink Secure VM in Microsoft Azure. CloudLink Secure VM is a component of the CloudLink Data Security Solution. It provides volume encryption with pre-boot authorization in public cloud infrastructure by leveraging Microsoft BitLocker. Secure VM enables BitLocker to be deployed and used in virtual and cloud environments by securely managing and delivering BitLocker encryption keys to Windows virtual machines. The CloudLink Center Virtual Appliance manages access to the keys and provides an administrative web interface to define security policy and monitor the deployment. Let's begin by opening a remote desktop session with the Windows VM. We can see that this VM's hostname is Windows 2012 R2 and its IP address is 10.0.0.132. In the command shell, we can see that BitLocker has not yet been applied to this VM. We will now run the CloudLink Secure VM installer to deploy the Secure VM agent, configure BitLocker, and register the VM with CloudLink Center. The Secure VM agent can also be deployed automatically via group policy or configuration management tools. The blue and white shield in the system tray indicates that the Secure VM agent has been deployed successfully. At this point, CloudLink Secure VM configures BitLocker to encrypt the VM's volumes. A restart is required to complete the deployment. Let's log into the CloudLink Center management interface. The VM is now under CloudLink Center control. It's placed in a pending state requiring administrator approval to allow it to boot. To authorize this VM to boot automatically in the future, we can add its IP address to the CloudLink Center access control list. We can also authorize groups of VMs by specifying IP address ranges or sitter blocks here. At this point, CloudLink Center reports that the VM has booted and that encryption has begun. Let's open another remote desktop session to the VM. BitLocker has encrypted the data volume and is now encrypting the boot volume. Encryption is now complete. Let's restart the VM using the Microsoft Azure console. This time, we can see that the VM is allowed to boot automatically, based on its IP address having been added to the CloudLink Center access control list. Thanks for watching this demonstration. For more information about CloudLink Secure VM and other components of the CloudLink platform, please visit our website at www.cloudlinktech.com.